It's Project for Awesome, and I'm going to tell you all about the Ezra Jack Keats Foundation. It was created by the great author illustrator. This is one of his books you probably recognize. He wrote a ton of other books too. And he started a foundation. It supports arts and literacy in public schools and libraries. Now let's take a closer look at one of the key programs. It's really exciting because you know the love that goes into creating these books. It was really fun. Like I at one point forgot it was actually for a book competition. I've never really done something this big. Like, whoa, I made a book that's so cool. <laughs> I think the competition allows children to validate their creativity, to validate their voice. We take the competition and we embed it into the curriculum for the students. Whether it's a contest winner or not, you have some really beautiful work as a result. They explode with color and creativity and you just want to read them. Some of the stories are fun and lighthearted, but there's really profound stories about their relationships with their parents and their siblings and to their community, and it's been really wonderful to hear those heartfelt stories. A lot of the things that are offered through this competition address the common core learning standards. It does a job for the teachers. It allows them to teach the kids the required information, but to do it in a way that the kids love and it's unified. It teaches them not only the subjects, but how the subjects are used. You learn a lot from making a book, and it's a great experience. I've been reading a lot more um, just by creating that book. Your vocabulary gets better, and you get a lot more ideas than you got before. I was able to kind of dig deeper into my thoughts and my worries. It helps me um, build up my confidence about myself. It's not just purely academic learning for the sake of academic learning, and it doesn't culminate in a final test. So what it culminates in is some opportunity to really think about the learning you've experienced and to end up with this gorgeous product. I think the benefits of hosting the exhibit at a library, it really shows kids that they can be writers and illustrators themselves as well. I think it really makes that connection for them. It was the most joyful day in my whole teaching career when they won. I ran up to the office in the library and I hugged our principal and our librarian who are so supportive of this. It means something to my family of my and that I actually did something, I accomplished something in my life. Like, I feel so proud of myself. Well, I was kind of scared because I don't like going on stage. But since I made the book, I was sure I could do it. You never know where this leads. Sometimes the smallest thing that a child could do affects the child much later in life and you may not even be aware of it as a teacher. It's just a big deal for me because it's my first time of getting a award for anything. It's still really sinking in that I won. It's exciting because I want to make a career in illustration and this is like the first step. Go for it because you never know what your students can accomplish until you give them the chance. The bookmaking competition is just one of the great programs. The foundation also gives mini grants to public schools and libraries and a prestigious book award to new children's authors and illustrators. The website has loads of material on Ezra Jack Keats and his wonderful picture books, plenty of resources for teachers looking for lesson plans, activity suggestions for parents, games for kids, and even quotes from some famous fans. They're not asking for donations. You can support the foundation simply by spreading the word. Share the link. Like them on Facebook. Follow them on Twitter. And don't forget to visit the website with the kids. If you'd like, they'll even read you one of Ezra's books. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. 